Welcome to the NC Spin After Spin. Additional comments from our panelists just available on the website. Uh, we want to ask all our panelists, what do you wish you'd said last week but you didn't? Connie Wilson, we'll start with you. Um, I wish I could have talked a little bit more about the Rules Review Commission and how important it is. It's, some, it's, a, it's a group of folk out there that basically volunteer. Now, many of the appointees do come from the legislature, so that's, that could be a controversial, contested issue. Um, but there was a lawsuit back when Governor Martin was governor, um, and he filed a lawsuit on the constitutionality of the chief justice on the Supreme Court appointing the chief judge of the administrative office of hearings. And the court ruled in favor of the chief of uh, the Supreme Court Chief Justice making that appointment. So there is precedence out there. The General Assembly tells the courts how their process should work. So there's really no difference here with the Rules Review Commission. It's actually one of the most important bodies that we have out there to protect citizens. Interesting perspective. John Hood, what do you wish you'd said you didn't say? Well, I, I actually agree with, about rules review. But rules review is a very important process. States that don't have some kind of rules review have a worse regulatory system that is harder to follow, that does have rules that were not authorized by the legislature, that really are basically policy making by people who do not have the constitutional authority to make policy. That having been said, though, <laughs> you still have to have a system that is consistent with the Constitution, and that's what the lawsuit we talked about on the show is all about, defining what that is. As I indicated, and I'd like to reiterate, if it comes out that the current system is fine, then that's a Supreme Court precedent, and I'm, I'm fine with that. But if not, I think we need to make whatever changes in the Constitution. Amendments are required to ensure the legislature can have a practical effect of, of overseeing regulatory agencies. Chris Fitzsimon, what do you wish you'd said that you didn't say? Well, we talked about uh, revenues uh, being behind in North Carolina. We talked about the, uh, how much of that was due to the tax cuts. Um, I think that what's interesting, there's still people in the Republican uh, Party. Uh, Lieutenant Governor Dan Farr said recently he hopes to get the North Carolina income tax to zero. Uh, Bob Rucho is still complaining that the last session of the General Assembly didn't reduce income tax to zero. Uh, and it's worth noting that the state of Kansas is having significant budget shortfalls now, way beyond uh, predictions because of the dramatic tax cuts that Governor Brownback proposed. And there's going to be, I think, deep cuts to Kansas educational system in this coming legislative session there. They've also had deep cuts in the past years. So I don't think anything dramatic is going to happen in 2015, but the politics are interesting because there are still some folks in the Republican Party that want to eliminate the state income tax, which I think would be a disaster. Howard Lee, what do you wish you'd said that you didn't say? I want to expand a little farther on my thoughts concerning the Mountains to the Sea Trail, which is fast becoming a very important asset for the state of North Carolina. Uh, most recently, I have begun to hike on various trails, and that's been one of the trails I've been hiking on. What has surprised me is the number of people I have met on the trail from other states, even, if far, even as far away as Canada and in one case uh, wow. from London, England, who've heard about the trail and who've come here and who are hiking it. Tom Earnhardt, who is a very strong naturalist and who heads up the Botanical Garden Board, has done a special which is now on the website at UNC TV about uh, the trail. And, and I think people uh, who live near the trail should take opportunities to go and walk it. I'm trying to encourage more school kids to get out of out and walk the trail and learn about nature. It's amazing the things and that it's I've great learned exercise. Out there. It is wonderful exercise. Yeah. Well, thanks for watching the Afterspin. More video all during the week on ncspin.com.